What's up YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share it with some friends, and drop a comment and let me know what you think. If you have any negative or positive feedback, I accept negative feedback. Um, it helps me grow my channel, so that's much appreciated. Also, if you like my content, I'll be posting Monday through Friday every week. So if you do end up enjoying my content, I would consider subscribing so that you wouldn't miss a single video when it comes out and hit that notification bell. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So what's happening right now is the phone was just talking to us, but the first thing you want to do is come into the room and you'll see this green guy reaching for the ticket. He has a bit of a weird animation, pretty nice of the developers. I really like uh, the graphics so far, animations, what you want to do is hand him the ticket, he'll end up eating it for some reason, and he'll pull a lever that'll allow you to go into the jungle area to your left. Now you can't actually do anything in this room until later, so we're going to head up to the third floor. And what you want to do is crank this lever until it falls off. Uh, don't don't think you ruined anything. This is part of the game. Put it in your little pouch. You can hold three things in there. Now there's this vase up top that's holding a red hairy. The first one we'll find. And if you collect five of these, that's all you have to get. So keep throwing things at it until you finally smash it and it'll pop out. The reason why my red hairy looks a bit bluer is because I've already completed it, so it won't give me the collectible again, so it just lets me know that I've already collected it. Remember that crank we found in the third floor? There's a slider that you can slide, and you can put it right in the elevator. This will allow you to flip gravity in the bathroom. Next, you want to head back down to the jungle room where we couldn't do anything, and strike a match and throw it right at the fire. This may take a few tries, but persistency is key. Once you light this on fire, you want to hit the big button that has the caveman on it. The caveman is then going to cook the meat until it turns brown, and then he'll eat the meat, giving you a bone to add to the dinosaur, which he'll do for you. The other bone to our left, you can't quite get to yet, but we will cover it a bit later. But there is one last red hairy in this room. If you hit the caveman button three more times, he'll burp three times. On the third burp, he will give you a red hairy. Obviously mine look a bit blue, but that's because I've already collected them. Also, the reason you hear all that yelling is because I have a hand present, which is obtainable after you collect a specific amount of red hairies. After that, you want to flip the picture in the bathroom so that it's the window that's on the top of the bathroom, and you want to head up there. Once you head into the bathroom, <coughs> you want to slide the window so that the sunglasses that are sitting there fall off onto the sink. These are used to get up into the DJ club. Once you're on the dance floor, you can put on the glasses so that he'll let you through. Now grab the smoke machine that's on the side, you don't have to turn it off, but I just did it just to show you that it is optional. But you can throw things at the computer right in front of you by the DJ. If you throw it and hit it, then it'll land on the DJ's desk and he'll swipe it off. This is the third Red Harry that we have collected. Once you collect five, a phone call will give you the prompt to leave after collecting them all if you have come back after completing the story mission, otherwise it'll just continue as normal. But you want to go back to the bathroom and see how the window's on the bottom, you want to flip the gravity that way. By doing this, you are able to bypass the metal detector which allows you to sneak the smoke into the caveman room. This doesn't seem to phase the cops, so you have to head back down to the first floor and grab it. And now you are past the metal detector, so he can no longer stop you with it. Next, you want to head back into the caveman room and spray the smoke at the colored lasers. You want to twist the dials until the colored lasers disappear, which means that you are safe to grab the bone. Next, you want to grab the bone and throw it where the missing bone is on the dinosaur. It may take a few tries, I did it first try here. Then you hit the dinosaur button and he'll give you the ticket just like that. And you guessed it, you go right back to the green guy and he'll end up eating the ticket again, letting you into the Egyptian room. Now currently there is nothing to do in the Egyptian room, so you have to wait for the green guy to close up shop. Once he closes the curtains, a gold key will be on the back of them. I don't know if they're called curtains or just a slider. But anyway, now that you have the gold key, you can head back up to the bathroom floor where there is a cabinet at the bottom that you can unlock it with. Also flip the painting back to normal gravity so that you can get another red hairy here. After opening up the cabinet, you can find a pipe that you can use on the third floor. But first flush the toilet and a red hair will pop out and come on the counter right in front of you. That is the fourth red hair and we're very close to collecting them all. Next you want to open up the sewage pipe right here and put the pipe leading into it and it should take all the juice or beer or whatever that liquid is. 
Next, you want to head down to the second floor again, which is the bathroom, and make sure the window is on the bottom. You want to turn on the faucet all the way so that you have a steady stream of beer or juice, and then you want to make sure the window is open underneath. <clears throat> this does nothing at the moment, but when we head back down to the first floor, you will see why this is the necessary step. You want to make sure you have a metal item with you, and make sure the cop goes underneath the stream. Now you want to leave the metal item in the elevator and run out, and the cop will run into the elevator and head up to the second floor. You want to then follow him up to the second floor once the elevator opens again. In the second floor, I forgot to grab it, but the policeman is showering with a red hairy. He's using it as a sponge, so make sure you grab it off of him, and also the policeman hat. Once you get all five red hairies, as I said, the message will play unless you haven't beaten it yet. And this is where the video ends for you if you've gotten all the red hairies and you just came for the red hairies. But if not, you can put on the police hat and walk into the security room. This will allow you to turn off the cameras so that you can interact with the pyramid table. Now in the pyramid table, there's a bit of a puzzle, which I'll skip through, but basically you have to line up all the pictures perfectly. The middle one spins to the right and the top one spins to the left. So in knowing this, you want to create it so that the right one spins to the left. So you want the middle one to be on the left and the top one on the right. So it lines up perfectly when you push the mallet in. Then you want to hit the off button on the music and grab the music disc. Now you can head up to the DJ booth and switch out the music disc without any of the birds stopping you from doing so. Instead, they'll dance to this new weird song. I don't really know why they dance to this. Like, I wouldn't be jamming out at a DJ booth if I heard this song. But these birds apparently like it. So now you want to take the DJ disc and put it back where the original music disc was in the pyramid exhibit. Doing so will trigger a dance battle with the mummy. It's kind of a bit childish, but you know, it's a game. Pretty fun though. So basically, the mummy will come out after turning on the music, and you'll have to copy every one of his moves, which isn't too hard. After you copy all his moves, he will give you his amulet on his forehead, which is the puzzle key, which is what you were looking for. I've been trying to do this three times, but I don't think it gives you it after you've already completed it once, but he will give you the amulet on his head after you do the dance battle. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. This took me a bit longer than expected. I had to delay it once or twice, but I'm glad with the way it came out please let me know in the comments what i could do to fix it if it's not what you were expecting and what part was your favorite i hope this really helped you guys and i hope that you guys were able to solve everything and that it was a clean smooth experience i will be posting a west tower but that's it for now peace youtube